Hey guys, Lindsay here and Abby. Today we are finally, finally able to share with you the Tunic Bible book. <laughs> this is a book um, written by two South Carolinians. Um, one of them actually lives here in Charleston, Julie, and Sarah lives in the upstate, which is about three hours mm -hmm. from us. Yeah. Um, but they have come up with a really interesting concept for the Tunic Bible, where it's basically one bodice piece and then dozens of modifications that you can make to that piece to, for a different neckline, mm -hmm. for different sleeves, and for different lengths of the tunic. garment, of the tunic. tunic. Yeah. So mm -hmm. today I'm wearing the scoop neckline with the ruffle hem sleeves, mm -hmm. and mine is the full knee length tunic. And I am wearing the ruffle neckline, the full frill version, sleeveless, and mine is just a top. Full disclosure, when I first saw this book, this is the version that I was drawn to the most. And I have made three versions of this already, <laughs> and every single one of them includes a ruffle. ruffle. Those were the first ones yep. that I went to, was this ruffle, the ruffle sleeve here, and then there's another version that has a smaller ruffle mm -hmm. that's really cute that you'll see in here. Yeah, love um, But yeah, the book itself is really great. They did a great job styling all of the models in the book mm -hmm. and took a bunch of really cute pictures that yeah. really help you get an idea for all the different variations you can make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the book is really inspirational. That's the first thought I had when I opened it up. Well, we opened it up first on our computer. Yeah. We didn't get to have this beautiful hard copy in our hands. Yes. But just scrolling through my computer, just all the inspiration, um, the ideas that they came up with yeah. their trims yeah. and all the things they added is just Yeah, they, amazing. they use a lot of ready-to-wear designers that we already know and love, mm -hmm. like um, Lily Pulitzer and Elizabeth McKay and Kate Spade mm -hmm. and just so many of these Southern type of designers that we have known almost our whole lives really. Yeah. Um, they took a lot of inspiration from them to come up with the different neckline variations mm -hmm. for sure. And then you can tell that the trims are kind of inspired by those looks as well, yeah. which is really cool. Um, there is also um, the pattern piece in here works for knits as well as wovens mm -hmm. and also something really interesting the pattern piece for the bodice has a different cutting line for sleeveless than it does for one where you attach the sleeve, which yeah. I really appreciate because yeah. that makes a big difference. It does, definitely. And it's nice, um, you, once you get your tunic fitted to your liking, then you can use that same piece and just, well actually they recommend cutting, for certain ones you can cut it just to that regular tunic, the original version, and then take their pattern pieces and lay on top of your cut fabric to make those modifications. So you right. don't even have to redraft the pattern right. to make all those changes, which, is, which really can be nice with time saving, yeah. <laughs> redrafting. Yeah. And, and I feel like sometimes when you get a pattern that has multiple variations, you can kind of tell. like it's the same pattern, mm -hmm. but I feel like with this one, some of these look completely different. Like, I feel like the ones we're wearing today, yeah, completely like different. you would never immediately assume that these were mm -hmm. the same. Yeah. So I think that that's really cool. Um, something that I also wanted to note was um, sort of the skill level required to make this. Although a tunic in terms of fitting is very easy to achieve, mm -hmm. um, the instructions for all the different necklines can get a bit tricky. And I feel like their instructions aren't super detailed. So I don't know that I would recommend this for someone's very first pattern. Mm -hmm. It's not like the Tilly and the Buttons book, in my opinion, which right, walks a beginner, through. you know, yeah. through step by step. I think if you, if you have a couple of garments under your belt, mm -hmm. if you've done, um, um, some different neckline facings, for example, and things like that. You could work your way through this book, but the, the instructions are pretty brief mm -hmm. and they are, I think in a way, there's a lot of assumptions made that you would already know before you tackled a certain step. Right. Um, so that would be the one thing that I would that I would want to caution, um, not to dive into this if you mm -hmm. just if you're just turning on your sewing machine right, for yeah. the first yeah, time. Yeah, you might get a little frustrated with <laughs> the lack of detail in some of the variations. Right. But I think just the basic tunic, yeah, with no additions like yeah. this ruffle, yeah, um, I think could be very beginner friendly. Yeah, and I didn't just I didn't choose to sew that, so I can't say for myself. So. Well, this is just the 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 
I mean, this is pretty basic. Uh, the yeah. sleeve is, is difficult, I will say, because the underside of the sleeve is not ruffled. It's yeah, actually it's a facing. It's, it's really, really, really cool the way that this was designed. Um, but yeah, the basic tunic sleeveless is just a tunic with bias binding. Yeah. A beginner could totally tackle that. Yeah. If you wanted to, to go off and do some of the other variations though, I think that you might have a little bit of trouble mm -hmm. making that leap from the basic tunic with just a basic neckline to, I mean, even the, well, you didn't do that version. So another version that I did has the facing with the V and so, you know, you have to sew it on and then you cut through your fabric all the way down to the stitches and then turn the facing to the inside, right. that whole process. I don't know. I mean, maybe you could, if you're a brave, adventurous beginner, yeah. you, could, you could work your way through there. But again, a lot of assumptions I think are made where you might not feel very confident. Mm -hmm. Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of where, where I stand on Go that. Go in with that mindset. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Take your time if you're a beginner, but if you've been sewing for a while, I think you're really gonna love mm -hmm. this book. A lot of the finishings are really, really great. They feel like ready to ready to wear clothes are constructed. Um, there are no shortcuts are made. Mm -hmm. uh, you make extra steps just to make sure that everything comes together really well. And I think yeah. that that makes for a great long lasting garment and mm -hmm. pattern that you're going to love. Yeah. Yeah, so this is our review on the Tunic Bible. The best part is one of our viewers is going to get a very, their very own copy awesome. for free. Yeah. I didn't know Sarah, that. Lucky you guys. Sarah <laughs> and Julie have given us a copy to give to one of you. Um, all you need to do is subscribe to our channel if you're not already. That's how we are going to pick our winner. And then comment below with the variation that you would like to make the most. Um, and that's it. We'll pick a winner from there and um, you'll get a free copy of the book. Nice, easy so, enough. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hopefully you'll enter the contest. Good luck to everyone. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't win, honestly, this is a really great book to pick up. I think it's something that you'll go to again and again. Mm -hmm. I know I have already and will continue to um, throughout the seasons. Yeah, definitely. Love it. Thanks so much for watching. See y'all next time. Bye.